Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt Hey, uh, Ian here. Just want to let you know. He means giving it, not getting it. Okay, thanks. Back to the song. It's a wild ride when you're being Ian, being Ian. And life is shit, but you're positive. Let's find out what it's like to live a life. Being Ian, being Ian. With Jordan. <laughs> Blowing of the shofar to start the show. Are you sure it's called a shofar? It's called a shofar. Okay. Welcome to B and Ian with Ian. <laughs> 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 we got the cats scared under the couch. A film crew. I took the door off the hinges of the bathroom to make everything work. Oh, you did? Yeah. Only to find out we're never going to use this recording space again. <laughs> were you going to keep it off for good? No, just for today. You took all those hinges. Look, the camera's not even in the bathroom. Yeah, you're right. We didn't even have to do that. It's going to be hilarious when Olivia walks in. Yeah, she's going to be pissed. Oh, my God. Can we get, does that camera move so we can get a zoom in on her? Yeah. yeah. And see her be like, what the fuck? And she's such a sweetheart. She'll go, oh, it's fine. You're like, hey. And then I'll get a real talking to later. What's going on with that blanket hanging over there? Oh, well, like a sound. <clears throat> <laughs> that's my office space, and it's kind of turned into my hoarding storage area. And I put up a blanket so no one would see you there and judge me. Really? That's why you put up the blanket? Yeah. It's not for sound? <laughs> that's nothing to do with sound. I didn't want anyone looking It looks looking like in. a trailer park kid's fort, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's like a cigarette burn on one part of it. No, I don't know what that stain is on the blanket. It's not good. I think it's self-tanner. Or oh. no, we dro- there was some sort of incident, I think. Something stained it. I don't know. It looks like something on fire stained it. I should have done the other side. Whatever. Fuck, this is backfiring. <laughs> There's now more judgment. <laughs> Look at this, the door to the bathroom's in the kitchen. The door to the bathroom's <laughs> in the kitchen behind the cat wheel. Uh, oh. You know? But what do you want? It's just another day in the life of being Ian. <laughs> Complete. Meanwhile, there's an entirely empty apartment downstairs, prime for recording space. Uh, no. And producer Jordan and producer Danny, you guys didn't know about it till you had to use the guest bathroom for a pee pee. Yeah, and it's literally perfect. <laughs> yeah. Could have avoided this whole nightmare. <laughs> it's not a nightmare. It's bringing us closer together. I can't even believe it. I've been saying this for so long, and these guys come in here. Uh huh. And also, this is really not good for the cats. <laughs> they no. are scared. No, you under just the crushed couch. one behind the couch. <laughs> oh, his little eyes are looking at me like help. The other one's in the bedroom to be free, but he's still scared under the bed. You got to tell Carl he can't move in. Oh yeah, and I got a guy moving in the basement. <laughs> Carl Sonnenfeld. Him and Olivia are gonna have an affair. I swear to God. No, that he's not her type. Yeah, but he's he's got. He's tall and handsome. No, so but what? he's got a way. He's got a way. He's got like a hippie kind of way. She doesn't like that. Yeah, okay, all right, Mark. No, <laughs> I'm her type. What are you? You're not anybody's type. <laughs> what? Jordan, I invite you into my home, and here we are. You're like, a, so- you're like an oil painting, just like shifting chaos all the time. You can't what? be one person. I am everybody's like type scribble. because I'm fun. Non traditionally handsome, <laughs> and I keep you guessing on one's gonna be a good day, and one's gonna be a bad day. <laughs> and I make up for it with good sex because I use that as a way of finding value for many years yeah, of my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Uh huh. Yeah. It's crazy. You just perfectly described me, too. Yeah, it's well, there you up, go. Yeah. That's why we're such good pals. <laughs> yeah. Jordan Jensen on the podcast. <laughs> You may know her from insulting everything about me. It's so fucked up the other day that I canceled the show and they were like, who who has the similar energy of being completely out of control? And they called oh, me. yeah. Dude, thank you for that. I was supposed to do... Okay, she was supposed to do a gig in Jersey. Did you know about the... Did you know what it was? No idea. No idea. I yeah. thought it was going to be a classic, 
you know, in their little golf club, no. r- that big room, the no. banquet hall. You know what it was? It was at a place called V&V Adventure Farm. <laughs> and there was large bean bags in a corn maze because it was a paintball uh, uh, grounds. They had a go-kart track. There wasn't even go-karts. They were souped up ride mowers with the governor taken off. There was little uh, a tetherball court out in the field. I was on some sort of hay baler. No, you were. And I, yeah, and I yeah, had you up on a tractor. Yes, <laughs> and I didn't find out that the gig was for a middle school <laughs> fundraiser until afterwards, when I'm telling women that they look like they plug their vibrator into a generator, and that the fucking the town looks like they believe in ghosts but not COVID. <laughs> You know, <laughs> were there middle schoolers there or just their parents? No, but there was a young boy there that I started talking to and realized I shouldn't have been saying the things I was saying to him. But they paid you, right? They paid you okay? Yeah, they paid me more than they were going to pay you. It was in a f- Is that right? Yeah. Really? It was a nightmare. I was getting, there were more mosquitoes than people with teeth. I was getting bit. I was sweating. I didn't even wear pants. Yeah, you had your shorts. You had your wife beater off. I had a white beater and I was ripping six. (laughs) Tell them how dumb they were. Now, I was in a higher tax bracket than them. (laughs) And they loved it. They were all into getting beat up. (laughs) I go to some woman, I was like, you don't need dinner when you got a corn cob in your pussy. (laughs) She loved it. (laughs) <laughs> One woman was like, vaccines aren't real. <laughs> and the whole time I'm thinking... You were up on stage. You were on stage while you were talking in the stage. microphone. Stage? It wasn't a stage. <laughs> it was a fucking hay baler. No, it was a thing that... Okay, have you ever been on a haunted hay ride? Yeah. It was a thing that the tractor The pulls. wagon. It was, I was on a wagon. <laughs> And they didn't have lights, so when the sun went down, I couldn't see, and I almost fell off the stage. The wagon. Yeah. car. If it had rained, cars would have gotten stuck in the gravel <laughs> dirt road you had to drive on to get there. It was a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, he hit me up the night before, and he's like, hey, are we still on for this gig? And I was like, fuck no, dude. You haven't. It's been too long. The last time I did his gig, it was like, yeah, it was for four lobotomized rural bumfuck people with, I mean, it was... Just fupas. I mean, just God human fupas them. sitting there. The yeah. guy held... A, oh, look, it's my super, Jose. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of which. That fucking asshole. You know, one time I a had a shirt? crack in my pipe. I didn't know it, and it, everything was leaking. And I called him on a Sunday, and he goes, you know, work on Sunday. And I go, yeah, but I'm leaking. Everything's getting wet. And he goes, you know, work on Sunday. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. What was leaking? A, a pipe got cracked. Oh, shit. So I had to call another guy to come up. Anyway. So fucking see when Carl's here, he'll be able to fix all that. Oh, basically without Carl. a shirt on. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Carl's converting to Islam, and he's wearing a burqa around my apartment. Oh God, we have to share a shower. She's gonna see his glistening body. Oh yeah, she is. He's and he does the hippie thing where he walks around. And he's like, "What's up?" He'll get he'll give her a hug every he's morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's gonna touch her. I fucking slug guys bigger than him. She's. I don't know if that's true. He's huge. That dude's huge. He's like a tree. I'm not saying I won. I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying, saying they punched him. I'm not saying they went down at all. Yeah, or no, moved. I'm you saying, you know, I slugged him and ran. Like that time at the knitting factory. Were you there for that? No, what happened? When I slugged a guy in the face. Why? Because he tried to whip his dick out. He grabbed the mic from Megan Hanley, stood on a table, and me and Scott Chaplin went up, and he dumped a beer on Scott, so I slugged him in the head. And uh, because there was no security. And then I left because someone, his friend was like, you assaulted him. So I like fucking scoot skedaddled. I was like, I don't need this. And then a bunch of open micers followed him down the street. And apparently this guy was like an ex-Israeli soldier. And I caught him when he wasn't looking because this guy (laughs) whooped four open micers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. (laughs) He took his thumb and put it in someone's throat. (laughs) You remember Momo Puche? <laughs> Woo, bad idea, Momo. <laughs> he did? Oh, did yeah. he really use, use oh, like jujitsu tricks? And stuff? Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I I stung him like a bumblebee, and then I ran away. <laughs> Yeah. The idea of you just hitting somebody in the side of the head and just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ran. Nimesh Patel was like, you better run. Holy <laughs> shit. Come. And I was like, yeah, you're right. 
That's crazy. Yeah. I've only hit somebody. I used to hit, beat up a lot of people at ski club when I was in middle school. What the fuck is ski club? We, it's like a trip that you would go on with school where you'd go skiing, but I would just stay in the atrium and just beat the shit out of girls. What do you mean you'd beat the shit out I, of it girls? It was just a fun thing to do. That's what ski club was for me. I never put skis on once. You turned ski club into fight club. <laughs> yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did you get involved in we'd beating be in up the, girls We'd be in the cafeteria, and I would just take like my drink like this, and just whip it at their heads, and then they'd get their whole posse, and I'd be like, let's go, and we'd just fight to the death. What? Yeah, I really? loved it, yeah. That happened to me in college with a fraternity. Pike. They all showed up at my door one night, and I was drunk, because they thought I was uh, messing with one of their brothers on the elevator. I, on a show the other night, there was all these fraternity brothers, and I went, one guy had like a busted hand, because he like punched a mirror, Course. Like SLC punk, but then yeah. he was like, I went to the hospital and got stitches. And I was like, you can't do that. You yeah. either, you know what I mean? You can't do that thing. And then yeah, that no, thing. No, no, you, you punch a mirror and you, you stitch it up with. Yeah, you flaws. bite the glass out. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh, and then one of your boys, I said boys or something mm. or buds. And they all chanted like all hundred of these Ugh. fraternities. They all went brothers, Ugh. like in correction to me. And I was like, Jesus, Dude, you got to be mentally deficient to join a frat yeah. in this day and age. Like it's pathetic. Yeah. You pay for your friends or Jewish. So like I said, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you pay for your friends? What does you that mean? You pay to join the frat so that you have friends. And oh, they yeah. prey upon you. You go to the mixer and they're like, oh, you'd be great here. And they try to get you to join. You pay like frat dues. What's that secret one? Bone and dagger or something? Bone and skull? No. Dagger and... Bone and... Whatever bone that and one my parents got recruited into. They really? didn't do it, but they got asked to do it. Yeah. Dude, these frat guys... So I said something to some guy in an elevator. He said something about some girl, and I was like, yeah, I bet. Or, like, I, like, made fun of him. So they all showed up at my door and pounded on it, and they expected me to be like, oh. Right. Come on I was, in. I was all, like, fucked up, and I was like, you fucking pussies, 30 on one, let's go. Oh my. And I just started pushing through them like a mosh pit. And I was like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Did they get you? No. I really? Got them. Yeah. Then I pass out on the street, and they all saw me later and laughed at me so i guess they got the last that's laugh, fucked up yeah that is the, uh, the epitome of you what just beating the shit out of 30 dudes but then fucking yourself up like like stubbing your toe and falling oh, down and crying my, later yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And i end up hurt <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah 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 no but if carl tries to get slick i'll fucking kick he's his not ass. gonna try and get slick he's gonna be so sweet dude you he, he's you, gonna be like you're a beautiful person olivia I don't why know. are you putting this bad juju on my <laughs> i'm just saying and my because love? because i want you to mark my words and then what so i mark your words i go I, the words are marked I, and then i'm miserable and i, I got a guy living happen. in my basement that my girlfriend's you're bisexual you guys can do a whole no yeah she's not into that she might be into it Come With on, Carl? what? Who would not be into that? Me and Carl. Yeah, two on one. Get the fuck out of here. Fun guy and tall guy. What more could you ask for? Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe dude. that'll be the goal. Hell yeah. I'll let Carl do a little reconnaissance, and then I'll yeah. slide in and you know <laughs> come in on the back end. Wow, I can't wait for Carl to move in. <laughs> I'll come in and stick my dick in his ass. <laughs> yeah, I'll fuck Carl. And I'll be like, what do you think, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Blow the shafar for triumph. <laughs> no, but if he's a good guy, he won't do anything with Olivia. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't do that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. And she wouldn't do anything with him. It's, no, we're gonna be a happy fit. We're gonna be the parents. He's gonna be the kid. Our son Carl. That's what happens when Luke stays here. Oh yeah, Luke Luke's is here. like Carl. Carl's Luke two point they're both humongous. No, Carl's morons. got some weird sexual. You'll see. You'll see. Carl already has a girl. No, who? Some girl that he hooked up with. Hmm. He told me he's going away to see her. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm good. But Carl's gonna get kicked out because we're putting the podcast studio in the basement. You can't try. And to one of the goals for Patreon is to give us enough money so that Carl gets kicked out. Yeah, It'll yeah, be, yeah. The goal is kicking out, Kick Carl. out Carl, and you'll yeah. have the budget mark yeah, going yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once I get enough bing. money to pay for the full rent without having someone live downstairs, that's a Patreon goal. Yeah. So I got it figured out, and then we'll have couples therapy goal for when he steals my yeah. girlfriend and we have to get our relationship back. Yeah, and it'll be a new ding, ding, yeah, ding, yeah, ding, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. be great. 
This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. But I like the living room setup. For the podcast? Yeah, it's got my cat shelves for them to not use because they're scared. Yeah. But downstairs, there's room for, like, Ghostbuster stuff. Oh, yeah. Downstairs, you can put a green screen up. We can look like we're driving in a car the whole podcast. Whoa. Yeah. Speed bump. (laughs) (laughs) Is this your third podcast? Yeah. What made you do this one? Um, just unbridled narcissism. Okay, great. <laughs> great, great, great. Self obsession. You, you, you know. This is just the one where you shoot the shit. The rest of them have reasons. Shoot the shit. You have Sopranos. Sopranos. You have Bye Guys where you don't talk about being bi. That one's kind of shoot the shit, but we do news articles. This is, see, I like it. This is a comfort of my home. This is hanging out. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a really big podcast, I think. Shut up, Jordan. <laughs> You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that Mike Racine is in here. He got COVID. Mike he was Racine gonna was come. supposed to come. He was going to come with COVID. Nuh-uh. Yeah, because he was like, oh, I didn't know we had it confirmed. Dude, he also, was going to come down the other day and bring his baby. <laughs> yeah, he'll do whatever it takes. This is, uh, this was, this is come down minus two. Yeah, this is. Zeus, you, me, C-10. Adam, and Racine. That was really fun. Yeah, Adam's heartburn is insane, huh? Yeah. Jeez. I'm not this That's shit. That's fucking hole. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> With Jose just looking into the window over there. What's up, buddy? This is an all right spot. No, it's okay. Oh, I got into it with some black kids the other day. What happened? In like a good way. I saw a guy jerking off by holding his dick skin. He's holding it like as if it's a cat, the scruff of a cat's neck. (laughs) Like that? Yeah. Really? And pulling at it like that until it was nice and hard. Oh, really? Wait, you watched it till it got activated? 100%. I watched it go from... A, sne- a sneed. You could have looked away. <laughs> no, why'd you watch? Like, what do you mean? Why? Where was it? Watch? He was on the train platform, and then there was a girl who was like looking at her phone, and he was just looking at her, hugging at it until finally I grabbed her, and I was like, "Dude, was get this on the six train waiting for the L?" No. Oh, because I saw that the other night. Some guy was jerking off looking at a girl, and I got close to the girl, and I was like, "I don't know if I should intervene now or if he starts like approach. If he starts approaching her." I had water. I was going to throw it at him like a cat. <laughs> and then I had, yeah, <laughs> get out. <laughs> and then I had my bike chain lock that I was going to hit him with if something happened. But then I was like, he's just watching. She doesn't notice. This girl eventually, eventually when he got rock hard, I was like, all right, all right. And I grabbed her and I was like, come on. And she was like, what? And I like pointed it. And he, she was like, oh, thank you. How long were you watching a man masturbate? Truly for? 15 minutes. Shut up. <laughs> Truly. It was fully fun. He, I watched him. There was one guy just screaming over here. So then this guy was like, pretty sure we're in crazy town. So might as well. Unzipped it. Pulled his dick and balls out. Thought they, it was interesting that it was. A, no. They always pull their balls out. Why do the balls have to I don't know, but the balls, balls always come out. I always see him with the balls. It's always dick and balls. <laughs> it's never just dick. It's crazy. You don't. And they have a big sweatshirt on, so they're underneath. And then they pull the sweatshirt up, and it's the whole salami and the the meatballs. It's really weird. Just the cock. You don't need the whole thing. Yeah. But he brought dick full, uh, dick and balls. Wow. That's been happening a lot. I've been watching videos of guys fucking each other on empty trains. Yeah, what's good? Why are you watching that? (laughs) (laughs) This is see where not to go in the city. Yeah, on the subway platforms, if, on the trains. They caught me. There's gangbangs on the fucking six train. Really? It's getting wild that I, I can stop not watching. <laughs> 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 My lady and I tug fast. I watched the whole time I was watching this guy. You know what was really funny? Uh-huh. Balls and dick were out. Guess what? What? He had a mask on. <laughs> Good for him. Because <laughs> I remember because his eyes were like this. Oh, like God. He was wor- and he was just like, like he couldn't help Did you make it. eye contact with him? Oh, I was, I was like this at him the whole time while I was looking at the girl. What if he was jerking off to you? You were a helper. Do you, you, would you jerk off to this? Never. <laughs> <laughs> None of this. <laughs> Somebody got really creeped out the other day. They like accidentally checked me out and I turned around. And they were like, oh, it's Jordan. No, oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I forget who it was. It might have been Ron on. I did uh, that with Eric Newman when he was in a suit the other night. I know it was fucked up. Oh, yeah. Dude, I almost threw up. Him, <laughs> him, he and I were such yin and yang of what each of us are. That night, 
he did a corporate gig for Jews in Long Island in a suit, you know, fucking uh, nice event space, whatever. He's, you know, all these people are rich. And at the same time he was doing that, I was on a fucking tractor in a yeah. field at v and Adventure Farm yelling at people without teeth in lawn chairs getting eaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> Yeah, he looked good. I wouldn't though. have it any other way. I like I brought Toby. Do you have a suit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> One suit that I wear to both funerals and weddings. Yeah. yeah. It's a three piece suit and I wear cowboy boots. Nice. Oh, I also have a suit that I was gifted from when I was on the last OG. What's it's that? A gray suit. It's a show on TBS. Mm. I had to play drunk guy. Nice. With Tracy Morgan. They let me improvise. It was awesome. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, I had one line, and then they ended up giving me two scenes. Didn't, I, like, isn't that the one where you went way too racist? <laughs> Remember the show you were on where they were like, you're kind of a racist cop, so then you riffed and like went way too oh, hard? Oh, yeah, that was the one Jordan filmed. Yes, that was at Helium. Jordan filmed a self-tape. It was a heavy improv show. The cop loves being a cop. <laughs> he loves the NYPD. And like one of the lines that I was supposed to say was, because, dude, Everything is turning into a 30 Rock episode. Legit, the name of the show is Sherlock Homies, about a group of black, like, investigators that are at war with the NYPD for, like, solving crime. There was a legit Tracy Morgan movie in 30 Rock called Sherlock Homie. What? Yeah, it's insane. So I play a cop, and one of my things was supposed to be like, what do you melanin matlocks want? Yeah, so Ooh. my line that I invented was, uh, oh, look, if it isn't the colored Columbos. Oh, <laughs> my God, that's so good. Did they use it? No, they didn't. <laughs> I didn't get it. It was wow. a little over the top. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... What you looking at? Uh, the next guests are coming. Who, who are they? H. Foley? And Kev Ryan and Cassidy. Nice, you're going to need a bigger couch. <sighs> yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> well, da- that's why downstairs is better, because it's a larger space. Yeah. But I like this intimate feel. You can make it intimate down there. And we make it impotent? Impotent. <laughs> 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 Woo! Can we make it an intimate feel? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we'll be able to put up cool, like, posters and stuff? Yeah. You want to help me decorate? <laughs> Toby said it'll help me decorate. Toby and I had so much. See, can we do this kind of stuff downstairs? Yeah. Like yeah. what? The, you there's nothing off limits downstairs. Why do you think that's that the, that's what this podcast is? Nothing off limits. <laughs> Ding. This is your close up camera, by the way. Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> We're oh learning. My God. Has this mic not been on the whole time? <laughs> I'll be here, dude. Oh, you are? Because I just flicked a switch up. Have you been hearing me? Poppy, can you hear me? <laughs> Have you been hearing me? Uh, much better now. <laughs> no. That's what it's been on the whole time. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Yeah. So, all right. <laughs> 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 be it <and> in. <laughs> is he on or is he off? <laughs> His meds. Are um, one of these guys going to the show with us? No. Yeah, Danny. You're going to the show? Yep. It's going to be fun. We're going to Turnstile tonight. It's going to be great. I'm pumped. I'm bringing a fanny pack to put my glasses in a holder so I can mosh. Nice. Do you think we're going to get COVID? Yeah. I've already had it nine times. My aunt. Just don't test. My aunt Linda is a nurse. And she teaches medicine at a school in Delaware. And she told me to get the booster, but she gave me a cheat on how to m- make sure you don't get sick from the booster. What is it? <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let me look at my text from Aunt Linda. Today's her birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Aunt Linda. Shout out, May 23rd. Okay, so the success plan is to be super hydrated before the shot. At least 32 ounces of water. Then once vaccinated, take Tylenol 1,000 milligrams and keep drinking lots of water. Everyone I told to do that has done pretty well. Getting it now will not protect you for tonight. It takes 10 to 14 days to boost your immunity. I Before you got here, I was going to go get boosted so I wouldn't get COVID tonight. But Just apparently don't that's test. not how it works. 
I uh ref- I can't get the booster because I got the when I got Moderna. Every time I got my period, it was like fifteen days long. Really? Yeah, isn't that crazy? A lot yeah. of women had that happen. I looked at them and read it, thousands yeah. of women. I know. You have a great joke about that. No, your thing's about birth control. Blood I have blocks. a joke about that, too, where then if you ask a man why they don't get the vaccine, they're like, because the Jews will control my thoughts. True. But Continue. then I have the joke about it being Moderna's the Huffle Puff. No, no, the one where it's like... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, where Johnson & Johnson is bad because eight people got blood clots. Meanwhile, every woman on birth control is like... Yeah, it gives me heart palpitations, but Brian says, says condoms, condoms make, make him cheat. cheat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like that you can <laughs> do that. No. I, um, you know, truthfully, though, I, I don't know if it had to do with the vaccine or not, but afterwards I got, like, really depressed. And what helped me get out of the depression was I would go around Williamsburg and catcall a city <gasps> Jews. Stop it. Yeah. And the thing <laughs> is, they can't make eye contact with people that aren't, Jewish, so you can just get away with it. You are Jewish. I'd go up to him and be like, <laughs> I want to wear that little hat. How many times have you... Is this? A g- These are all her jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what's one of your jokes? Um, what's the one that I thought... Oh, yeah, if you're, if, you're a, if you're not fucking dudes, you're a bigot. Oh, if you're not sucking dick, you're a I bigot. I think that you should say, if you're not sucking dicks, you're a... You're a what? You're gay. What was the other word? <laughs> I'm not saying it. Oh, apparently I said that word a lot when I was in the field. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, I think I said faggot like a lot. You did not. Reason. I think I did, yeah. They probably loved it. No, and I was like, wow, who knew a field full of whites wouldn't like it when I say faggot? <laughs> I did the most woke show the other day. I said, hey, Seuss on stage, and they clammed up. Really? I was furious by the end of it. Dude, I did a woke show legitimately called the Safe Space Comedy Show, right? Yikes. All like black Hispanic in the crowd. The host went up legitimately. Hey, everybody, this is a safe space. We want to make sure if anything is uncomfortable, raise your hand. We're going to, we'll make sure the comics know. Listen, ba da ba da ba ba. And then the comic, black comic, proceeded to legitimately shit on white people the entire time and his closing joke was he they it was a big thing like we don't want any hatred no bigotry no homophobia this is a safe spit bah, 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 no, bah, homo. bah, no homos <laughs> and um <clears throat> so his final joke was you know i always try to find the bright side in things and you know kobe bryant dying was tragic but at least he killed seven white people with him when he went down your first comic oh my god that up. was the host yeah i keep turning this off Stop Sorry. doing that. Why right, are you yelling right. at them? Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so he brings me up, and I just ripped on it that it was safe space, but it, let's shit on Whitey, fucking blah, blah. And everyone, like, loved it. Oh, good. And, like, I gave shit to this black guy, and he was, like, digging it. And then I gave shit to this black girl, and everyone was like, oh, I was like, oh, can't touch the queen bee. And they fucking dug that. And then I talked about sucking dick, and they all clammed up. And I was like... What? Oh, uh, who knew the, the blacks would love me until I mentioned being kind of gay and then their Jamaican came out. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican me uncomfortable. <laughs> the best set I've seen you do is on that rooftop when you were that there was a black girl and you were like, I love black girls. And you were like, Remember but they that? do not love me. And you started screaming about how you couldn't say that. You're like, oh, I'm not allowed to say that I love black girls. I'm not allowed to talk. You like almost jumped off the roof. Oh, yeah. And I said it'd be a win for BLM. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much of an ally I am. <laughs> this is going to kill myself because there'd be one less white. Calm. Oh, yeah. And then I was screaming at the balloon. That was fun. I was yeah. like breaking down. You were I enjoyed breaking it. Down. You were going through the breakup and you were so manic and it was so funny. You were like calling to your dad on the train. The balloon oh, yeah. was like your lost childhood. It was yeah, yeah. chaos. I loved it. Yeah, you did yeah. great. Yeah, I need to break down more often. Yeah, well now you, your life's all together and stuff it makes it hard. Yeah, it's nice. And you know, every time I'm going through a breakup, I really crush. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up. Well, that's why I bring a car on so it'll cuck me with my girlfriend yeah. <laughs> and I'll be funny again. Yeah. I'm funny all the time. <laughs> And now a message from our sponsor. Carl will be Newport. a good guy to bring in. He's a good riffer. Yeah. I, we're going to have a dick. segment on the pod called Basement Carl. Oh, and we're going to call my mom at the end of the podcast. Are we going to do that today? Yeah, great. We should call my mom. Let's do it. You want to? Let's call her mom. Should we do it now? How long have we been recording? Uh, 28 minutes. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> 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 
This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I wish I could smoke in here. It's my place. It is your place. I, uh, we're already doing this. I don't want to mess it up. Today's the day to smoke if you want to, because I don't have oh. any shows, and we're going to that hardcore show, so I'm just grunge. Dude, through. I am so excited. I'm going to stage dive. I'm going to mosh it up. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's a Brooklyn Steel. It's going to be so many people. We're going to die. That's the thing. It's, it is going to suck. It's going to be fucked it's up. It's going to be so many people. We're not going to be able to move. We're gonna, I don't want to sit stand in the front, because it's going to be a lot of tight packedness. I'd rather be in the back and find a place that we can. You like know where I like little. going is up on the balcony at Brooklyn Steel. I've never been to Brooklyn Steel. What? I don't want to go on the balcony. It's fun. I'll go on the balcony because then you can see. <laughs> we're just old now, so you can see the whole stage. You can see what they're doing. And yeah, but I would. Okay, I'll go up on the balcony for a little, and then I'll go down and, and we can watch you mosh, and, make sure you're okay. and then I'm gonna crowd surf and stage dive and try to grab the mic and sing. God, Are you I really? Love it. Oh yeah. I go buck wild at hardcore shows. I'm I'm pumped to film it. Yeah, I'm gonna be up in. What the was day. the last show you went to? Um, fuck, I went to Mannequin Pussy. Oh, that Peach Pit band came to my show and liked me and gave me tickets, so I went to that. Oh, nice. That was at Brooklyn Steel. I oh, think. we went to Front Bottoms, but we didn't perform. I left. That no, was I mean, we didn't dance. We didn't go in the pit, but you left. I left immediately. I watched. It was fun. You you did watch their set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're pretty good. I like those guys. They just had like this little tiny teeny bopper band up before them that I caught Dude, some of. Their fan base sucks. Was just young, wet girls. Just so wet. So oh. wet. Slip sliding. Ugh. Singing every lyric. Some they're girl was acting out a play <laughs> in the front row. Yeah, there was she like, had, like a- fucking moves and everything. Someone gave him a painting and he had to act like he liked it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. they're they're like wet Hello Kitty girls. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're like Hot Topic residue. Yeah, they all fucking just left getting their ears pierced to Claire's and then went to a front box Yeah, concert. I don't know how they still... Yeah, they're all their culture is from the mall. Yeah. They're very... They are mall people. They're pretty, they love them. They were mainly women, but one guy yelled out in the middle of my set, bring up Brian. And I was like, who's Brian? <laughs> He's the lead singer He's of the band. Singer. I had just, ah! just talked to him backstage for like 15 minutes. I was hostile at that show. Dude. The first band is a band called Riverby. They were great. Really cool. I walked in the green room, and, dude, there's a guy in a dress, dressed like a woman, but he's got, like, a 5 o'clock shadow. They all got different color hair. Haircuts, like, it looks like they just got run over once by a yeah. lawnmower. It's not good. And I'm like, this is going to be a bad hang. These people are going to be like, um, um, um. They were so cool, awesome. Were they young? Great. Young from Philly. Yeah. Such a fun time. My initial like judgy instinct was way wrong. We had a blast, but it was so funny. When I introduced them, I I said a joke because like <laughs> their names were hilarious. Like there was a girl named Mole. Skillet or something. Yeah. Yeah, there was a girl named Mole. The guy dressed like a woman's <laughs> name was like Kenneth. <laughs> and then like there was a girl named River and someone else named like September or some shit. Yeah. And then they had a guy named Doug. And so I was like you guys, you know, my favorite part of this band is that they're all these non-binary fun fella girls, thems, and, you know, they all have cool <laughs> names Doug. that, like, uh, River and October and and March, and this is Mole, <laughs> and here's Transton, but he's a guy dressed as a girl, and rounding it out, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were up for, I, I didn't hang out with the band at all, they were too young and Frantic. Mm. I hung out with the dudes who ran the whole thing. The like big pizza beard guy. Oh yeah. Did they give you a hundred your hundred dollar stipend? Yeah, they did. You know I got fucked on that. Yeah, right? they gave you ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I get there. It, there's multiple emails. Just so you know, you get a hundred dollar stipend. Don't forget, a hundred dollar food stipend. So I'm fucking like, oh, there's a French restaurant downstairs. I'm getting oysters. I'm fucking duck confit. Yeah. And so then I get there and the fucking guy gives me a ten. I go, Oh, I was supposed to get a hundred. He goes, well, I didn't think it was a hundred, and then everything left over gets doled out to everyone because the band wanted more pizza. <laughs> I was like, okay. I mean, I'm not going to cause a stink over a hundred bucks, but at the same time, I was like, I went upstairs on. to where the front bottoms were. They had every snack. Dude, they had sandwiches, they so had many so pizzas. so many snacks. And then downstairs, downstairs in the fucking, nothing. The fucking touch me dungeon was just yeah. like, 
fucking scraps and These like a little, rubber band. Yeah, non-binary. Like, you're biting on, on a makeup. button, faggot. And I'm like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you gonna say? I don't want to do it open for band. I liked it. Oh, dude, at They're one too point, young. at one point, I got the entire crowd to pull out their phones and pop up pictures of their cats. <laughs> And they like love that, and because I did a thing on cat names, and then a girl, I moved on, and she goes, "My cat's name is Mochi," and I was like, "And I don't really care right now." <laughs> and everyone was like, "Oh no!" Oh yeah, <laughs> they, totally. Yeah. They yeah, were they like that. Like, real sense. I walked out, and they're like, ah! and I was like, "Stop." Cut it out immediately. Stop. I mean, I was oh, pissed God. out the gate. Yeah, really? I was like, just stop. Just oh, I they was were such squealing. a rah rah. Like, yeah, yeah you have, you're a happy person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I was furious immediately. Really? Yeah, I they were fun. squealing. I was like, oh, I don't know if they were blowing smoke in my ass, but they're like, dude, you got to open for us again. Like, this would be great. Like, yeah, I love. Yeah, to. yeah, they were down, but it was like I like opening for bands. Yeah, I, I think yeah, like I because like event like it's tough you got to make sure you just play to like the front half because if you worry about people in the back they're gonna be talking and it's gonna like fuck with you yeah but i dig it i i think it's like a cool like cross whatever like i'm friends with that band cat bite and i've opened for them and we've done stuff here we just filmed a music video together like i like the idea of like combining different groups of people together for you know like because they're gonna get like fans through me and i'll get fans through them and also like you know i think Having the same, just like with comedy, like having the same type of opener makes the show boring. Having the same type of band open for you is like boring. So I think it's better to like. Yeah, I've liked doing it in the past. It's just when they're 16 years old oh, and yeah, squealing. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. so gay. I know, I know. They're on like training bras and you're like, Ugh. Yeah, and they're just. Where's like an old gal? Yeah, I want <laughs> there know? to be some sort of like crust punk piece of shit that I'm can a- make eye contact. Yeah, with. or like someone that'll relate to some like feeling you've had, other than like I can't wait till my tits grow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. I'm getting discharged for the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, give me a crowd of people that knows the sad, sweet taste of death. I know. I just wanted to turn back and do comedy for the stage hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was crazy. They were also just so incredible. They were pumped to a degree that I was like, "You guys are." Yeah, they're like jazzed on everything yeah 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 you know but it was okay it was fun yeah could have paid us more you're telling me yeah we're fucking selling out 800 things theater and they're like here's here's a fucking sock yeah. like, oh, cool can i get two they're like not in the budget <laughs> <laughs> is it a full sock it's an ankle sock <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know whatever it was fun what was the other thing we were gonna talk, talk about on here? oh your little no dude. no 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 what? we're not gonna talk about that I made out. I had a make out set. I'm not going to say who it is. Don't <laughs> no, say no, no, no. We're not going to talk about that. About what? <laughs> well, I realized I, I made couldn't out do that. I realized I couldn't just not say it then. Well, go for it. It was a good make out sesh. Good, good. Good for you. You think bad kissers know they're bad kissers? You got to tell them. I was a bad kisser. Someone told me and I got better. Really? What kind yep. of kisser are you? Closed mouth? Too much <sighs> mouth. I didn't know how you were supposed to kiss. Just from the movies, I thought you put your face up to them and go. You're a closed kisser. That, this was in sixth grade. And then in <laughs> set, I used to have spin the bottle parties in my house. Yeah, same. Yeah. I got in a lot of trouble for having a truth or dare party where I dared two kids to jack off in a shed. That happened to me, but it was in a living room and it was all guys from a baseball team. Really? Did you get in trouble? These kids weren't allowed to come around me anymore. <laughs> Just emotionally. <laughs> what happened? You made you asked them to jack off and you're... I don't want to get into it. <laughs> All right, so you've been throwing it around town. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> New segment. Let's call our mom. <laughs> You just, you just have a thousand <laughs> miles. <laughs> I'm so hot right now. Let's go to commercial. Blue Chew. When you can force a jerk off at a baseball sleepover. And you can't get hard because you're nervous. Blue Chew. It'll help you stick your dick in a kid named Eric's ear. <laughs> 
You'll never be able to watch <laughs> Die Hard with a Vengeance the same again. I just watched like a projector screen of like horror World War II footage <laughs> play, play in your pupil. <laughs> I really got brought back to Nam right there for a minute. <laughs> Everywhere I looked, I saw Charlie. <laughs> that was one of the kids' names. <laughs> Your eyes got like a glassy, watery film over them. Oh, my God. Whatever happened, buddy, I think it might have done a lot of damage. <laughs> late to church the next day, let me tell you that much. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Dropped a pillow. Oh my god. Oh. All right, so Ian was <laughs> raped as a child. No, 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 no. You've been making out. <laughs> Fellas. <laughs> How did you meet him? What's your process for standing Your rebuttal was, your rebuttal was you've been throwing it around <laughs> Jesse, you've been slip sliding up McDougal. Tell us about it. <laughs> like a dramatic fucking. <laughs> you've been leaving a snail trail from Crown Heights up so to Queens. So you're a goddamn whore. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about me. You're a piece of shit, tramp. My side hurts. Okay. 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 <laughs> Uh, Be in here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cigarette. <laughs> anyway, May 23rd is a special day for you. Tell us about that. <laughs> you have fun what? in May, always. <laughs> what happens in Are May for you? Have to cut all of this. <laughs> this is too much. Okay. <laughs> what happened uh. in May? <laughs> That uh. makes you smile. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, was it bad? Was it a bad? Was it a bad thing? I don't want to get into it. <laughs> Let's just say I stopped playing baseball after that. <laughs> Next spring, I didn't sign up. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's just say <laughs> we all went to different schools after that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. I was no longer invited to play group. <laughs> my mom also had to find new moms to play. <laughs> <up with. laughs> We're having fun. That's so fucked up. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> mine was pretty dramatic. I made these kids. I didn't make them, but I dared them to, and then they were never allowed to come around me anymore. Yeah, I know what that's <laughs> like. <laughs> I said that, and you went, you went, that's what happened to me <laughs> with the whole baseball team. <laughs> that sucks. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm sweating. Me too. <laughs> this is great. So you've had Go ahead. you <laughs> ask away. May twenty third special. May twenty third special day. Twenty three is my lucky number. May is my birthday month, and on the twenty third, what happened was I was tripping on acid, at hard in Ithaca, New York, and then this guy passed me and went, "You're famous." Whoa, when was this? Six, eight years ago, maybe. Mm. I hadn't started comedy. Wow, so why were you famous? Well, then it started spinning me out. Your little ski stories? I started freaking the fuck out for some reason at him uh. saying that. <laughs> what? I was fucking wrestling. Just, <laughs> my side legitimately hurts <laughs> like in my kidney. My back hurts so bad. <laughs> um, and then I went home and I saw that there was like a page, a picture of me this big on the front page of the Ithaca Journal. For what? I had built like houses in Ecuador to like help whatever, whatever. Really? Yeah, yeah. I helped do that in New Orleans. 
after Hurricane Sp- Katrina? Sounds like we have a lot in common when it comes to <laughs> calamities. <laughs> I was in an MTV documentary about it. Really? Yeah. MTV? Yeah, it was called like, uh, it was some spring break thing where we went to, I can't find the clip. It's pretty funny. I, th- I had a chin strap beard at the time. <laughs> I was ripped. I was wearing overalls all the time. Mm. I also went to Katrina. Really? Yeah. No way. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I went down to New Orleans and they still hadn't fixed hurricane oh. damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Does this bring anything back for you? <laughs> his name Andy <laughs> I'm joking uh, I'm just joking <laughs> I'm joking I'm sorry Andy I'm, just I'm sorry getting around <laughs> um, uh, what you call it we uh, yeah United Way and MTV did a thing and I signed up for where I spent spring break down there but they didn't Fix stuff that got hit by Hurricane Ivan in Foley, Alabama. So I had to go down to Foley, Alabama from New Orleans, <laughs> fix those houses. And then a bunch of people did mold patrol in New Orleans. What the fuck? We went to Biloxi, Mississippi in New Orleans. Saw It was bad. We saw all the houses that were like, help, dying. <laughs> to Katrina um, and there were, there were these two old guys one was liberal one was Republican and their houses got all fucked up and they were enemies for like 50 years or the something. The Hatfield and McCoys. And then they helped each other build each other's houses back up and they became best friends inseparable. I drove around with them for no days. Way. Yeah. Oh that's so sweet. It was really Did sweet. Did you stay in touch? No. They're dead. <laughs> for sure. A hundred percent. Because because FEMA gave them all that money, but then they never used. It. But then that's right. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yep. When when I got there, we had to sleep in a gymnasium, and we all had teams, and everyone called me Delaware because they mentioned Delaware. Like we've got people from all over, and then they mentioned Delaware, and I went Delaware, and so that's what everyone called me. And we had a team building exercise where you had to go on stage and like do some performance, and I lied and said I could beatbox, and they're like, okay, cool, <laughs> and so like they wrote like a rap, and they were like. Delaware, up on beatbox, yeah. And I just went, uh, 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 wicka, wicka, wicka. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> How long did you do it? A long time. <laughs> really long. <laughs> did, were they still? Did they like you afterwards? You oh were the, yeah, everyone thought you were the class. Were you the class clown growing up? Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. Got s- detention every day. I day. got notes home when I behaved. No, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like not they used when to give I was me bad. De- the they default was they would bad. bring a deck of cards and give me a card every time I got sent to the principal's office. So and see how many I got by the end of the day. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I lived in the principal's office, dude. My kindergarten. Okay, so I loved. Batman, I love the Joker. I used to go home from school and put on Joker face paint <laughs> in the mirror when I was little. I like idolized Did the Joker. You really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ian. And so what? <laughs> Wait, why so <laughs> serious? <laughs> that is so scary. Why is that, that scary? is so imagine walking in on your fucking t- My parents were the one giving me the makeup. <laughs> it was like I was the one sneaking it. <laughs> one time my parents walked in and I had cut the face. Oh. Of a Barbie and flip the head inside out Jesus. and put it back on the Barbie. That's more disturbing and than me. And then I had drawn a pig face on the inside out head. And my I remember my dad coming in and being like, we need to get you help. That's way more yeah. disturbing than me. No, I don't think so. Joker face, a little kid? The Joker was fun. No. The Joker was a, a sane, insane asylum guy. I didn't know that. I was like... In kindergarten, I just thought he was a fun guy that liked to laugh. I'm never having kids. <laughs> so, uh, never mind. So, I, he was like my idol, and my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Fano, showed us pictures of her at her daughter's wedding, and I raised my hand, I said, Mrs. Fano, you look like the Joker. <laughs> 
And she called my parents to get me taken home. And when they sat my parents down, my dad, instead of scolding me, was like, guy got a point. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. Look at this ugly bitch. Yeah, I mean, my parents her never her cared. My friend was like, and I was like, well, I'm trying to tell you that that's nice. Yeah. Because I like the joke. I love him. Yeah. And she took it as an insult. And then, whoa, I, I had to get taken home. And in preschool, I got taken home because I was a kid that bit other kids. I believe that. I believe that. I was the biter. I jumped the fence once and ran home. And they called my mom and they were like, I ran home. And they were like, where's your kid? And she was like, she's right here. She's with me. And they were like, well, she just left school. And they're like, yeah. And and my mom, I remember being like, "Have you seen her?" Because I was like really fat, and she was like, "That was good. That, that was good that she just walked all the way home. That's the furthest she's walked in her goddamn life." <laughs> and I was just a fat little kid, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> "I would always." My mom never gave a. F- I remember one time I was. Using Thank God we lived at the bottom of the hill. That little rolly ball. Yeah, just I just ran all the way down. <laughs> yeah, the mile run. Did you have to do the mile run in kindergarten? In elementary school, we had to run a mile every year. Oh so. my god, that was my nightmare. We jump rope for the heart. I literally became a goth kid so that I, when it looked like I wasn't, when I wasn't running, it wasn't because I was fat, it's because I was like rebelling. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it worked out. The trip yeah. pants, you can't run in those. Well, I went to preschool down the street from my house. Me too. And I just left one day and walked home. Yeah. My parents flipped a shit. I shit my pants in preschool. A woman helped me. <laughs> a woman helped. I was like, I shit my pants. And this woman helped me deal with it. But then a few years later, she died. Uh-huh. And I was so sad about it. But I couldn't. T- Everybody was like, you, did you know her? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I couldn't be like, she helped me with my shit my pants. It's like when your mistress dies and you can't yeah. properly mourn. Totally. <laughs> exactly. Let's call our mothers. <laughs> One, Should two. we call my mom? Should we call my rock paper scissors shoot? Whoever wins calls their mom. Ready? Ready? It's rock paper scissors shoot. Ready? Rock paper scissors shoot. Gail. She might be asleep. Gail Why? keeps weird hours. She stays up to like eight. Why? You freak. Hey, Mom. How did you know I needed to talk to you? <gasps> oh, you do? Why? What's up? I just wanted to say I love you. Oh, Mom. I love you, too. Oh, aren't we just adorable? Uh-huh. We are so lucky. We really are. She just says the end. We are. You're the best, Mom. <laughs> I love you. No. You're the best. Thank you. Really? I love you, too. Oh, that's nice. Mom, did you hear noise in the background of my phone call? No. That's because you're live mm-hmm. on my new podcast, B&E. Oh. Yep. You little shit. <laughs> Mom, I've got Jordan on the couch and producer Danny and man Jordan. Hi, guys. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Hey, Gail, do you remember when Ian w- had the baseball team? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. She quit. No, she's not saying anything. What she did? No, no, no. Remember when I walked home? When, when do you remember when I walked home from preschool? Oh, do I ever. Are you kidding me? Yep. How old were you? Preschool. You were four, I think. Yep. Do you remember when well, you... That, all right, Mom. <laughs> when Mom, you wore Joker go, makeup. Joker makeup. Sh- oh. Do you remember when I put on Joker makeup and told Mrs. Fano she looked like the Joker? <laughs> we had to come pick you up at school. You got thrown out for the day. Uh-huh. Because you called her the Joker. Because I called her the Joker. I thought it was a compliment. Yep. Because you went to the Joker at the time. <laughs> Yeah, now, here's the thing. Jordan says that it's disturbing (laughs) that I used to put on Joker face paint after school. Well, (laughs) not in your mind it wasn't disturbing, but if people... It didn't scare you that your son was dressing up like an insane asylum? 
knew you and saw it, thought it was a little disturbing. What about when I went in the stroller on the boardwalk and stuck a fake knife in my head and pretended oh I was dead? Oh, my God. Dan, the looks we got. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were just cracking up. You had a little one. Um, didn't we have like a little bandana or something on your head? Oh, yeah, it looked like blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, fun, fun. Good memories we only. Used <laughs> you used to love, in fact, remember I had to bring that tall mirror downstairs because you were always upstairs looking at yourself. <laughs> Right. And now there's eight cameras on you on a podcast called Being Ian. What is wrong with you? And he would stand in front of it and put makeup on. And, and if he fell or something and got hurt, he'd run to the mirror and cry. Oh! All right, Mom. All right. All right. All right. What is happening? You're on air. If he got hurt, he would go cry in front of the mirror like an Alanis Morissette video. <laughs> Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> all right, all right, Mom. It's called be and oh, Ian, not embarrass Lord. my son. <laughs> I can imagine you crying in front of the mirror, just oh seeing how God. beautiful you look and your vulnerability. Well, one time I, I cut my head open and I... Am I bleeding? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, you've been on be and Ian. All right, thanks for calling in. <laughs> All right, love you, Mom. Bye. <laughs> One, two, so much. All right. Bye. Oh. squeaking. <laughs> See ya. Love you. Have Thank fun. You. All right, say goodbye to Jordan, Guy Jordan, and Danny. Bye, Gail. Bye. 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 Oh. Bye. Oh. Enjoy. Okay, yep. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. All right, well, that didn't go as planned, but that was a segment called Calling Gail. All right, let's wrap this up. I saw, I saw Foley's fat head walking <laughs> all on my block because he's coming in for the next episode. Just this humongous man in a Hawaiian shirt, sweating, looking lost. All right, Jordan, anything you got to plug? Um, duh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be in Vegas and then LA in June. Follow me on Instagram, Jordan Jensen, LOL, stop. Yep. <laughs> uh, June 17th and 18th, Royal Comedy Theater, Toronto, Canada. June, no, July 22nd, 23rd, Hilarities, I'm going to be headlining on my own. I might go. You got to let me know, I know so I, I can know, tell I the okay, fucking right, guy. Right, I might go. Jesus. Get, that's an off-air conversation. <laughs> I'm also going to be in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, June 25th. No, Columbus, Ohio, June 25th at Natalie's Grandview, two shows. Uh, June 25th, June 17th and 18th, Royal Comedy Theater. Let's sell it out. Toronto, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I love you. This is so fun. That's great.